What's up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, we're in a 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 Blackout. Just picked it up Friday. Today's uh, Tuesday. Put my subs in. So what I got here is I got a Comp R with a custom box. Um, it's a good sub. Beats pretty good. You definitely want to get the the grill guard I got there on top. You know the seat comes sits. I'll show you. The seat sits right down on top. You'll see it. The seat sits nice and tight, and you definitely want that uh, that guard. And I have no problems pumping this thing up all the way with that guard on. It's not going to hit or anything. Um, this is actually I didn't even screw this down. It sits close enough for the seat. Um, got my wire there. Another reason I didn't screw this down is because of. Uh, I plan on putting a plug there so I can unplug it and just take this box right out if I want the extra storage. Ran my wire around here, nothing special. Underneath the trim, going over here. Uh, amps under the seat. Let me just slide the seat forward for you guys. All right. Amps under the seat, right there, pretty straightforward. CXA 600, one channel. Um, with the remote, you definitely want the remote uh, base controller. Alright, so here's, it's not really a straightforward diagram online for putting amps in these trucks. You know, I spent a lot of, I spent hours figuring out which way I wanted to go. There's nothing straightforward to this truck. But, uh, I got the kicker, uh, just a line out converter, nothing special. Real simple from Kicker, it was like 17 bucks. Um, I have it spliced in, no left and right. You know, it's just a sub. A lot of people go left, right for panning. You really don't need it, you know. Combine them together, it's just a sub output, nothing special. Uh, what you got here is you got your uh, gray and light green is gonna be your positive, and uh, gray with a dark green is gonna be your negative. Coming out of the jack, jack goes towards the door. I just splicing off of that. Got my little ground in there. Let me grab my flashlight and I'll show you what I did under the dash. So, got my wire. That's for my uh, remote and uh, remote base control. I got my power coming in up there. You can see it. Kind of, not really. Yeah, there it is. Right there in the upper corner. Um, remote base control. Looks pretty sweet. You definitely want it. Um, the 24 box, it's nice to be able to have that control. For a remote, I, uh, spliced right off of, uh, right off the cigarette plug. You know, it's really the easiest way to get to these trucks. Otherwise, you really gotta chase it down. Um, find somewhere else, but, uh, the cigarette plug is definitely the easiest way to get power. Unless you want to go to the fuse box, but that's a little further of a run. Either or, you know, it works, but the cigarette plug is the easiest. Um, and then going into the hood, got it bolts right to the battery. I got a zip, I'm gonna zip tie my fuse in there. Um, and then it's just running right through. Real basic, real easy. If you're looking at putting subs in, you know, I wanted to make this video because uh, there's really nothing, not too much information about these uh, Dodge Rams putting subs in them. There's a lot of blogs and stuff, but the blogs are kind of all over the place. So uh, that's how I did it, and uh, it works great, no problems, and uh, hope it helps you guys out. Thanks.